Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a plan to try to make some jade nails. I've done this like a couple times in the past, I think, but now we have more stuff to play with and I want to see if I can do it better. I also just kind of need a simple set because I'm tired, <laughs> but I'm really excited and let's get into it. All right, I pulled out some greens and then I have a white just because I feel like those colors are gonna go well. I also have gel polish that we might use and then um, some gold foil. That's kind of really all you'll need for like jade nails. They're pretty simple. So I wanna use our 5XL coffin tip. I'm gonna kind of cut them down just because these are so long, but I do wanna size them out real quick. So we have these sized out. I do want to chop them down before we put them on just because we are going to be doing the Femi Beauty method today. So I don't want to like fill in the whole nail and I don't want to take too much off. I got these chopped. I like to do, I don't know, maybe this is just me. Some people I feel like might want them all the same size, but I like to kind of make the thumb and the middle finger like longer. I think like the bigger the fingernail, I want that nail to be like a little bit longer. That's just me, but I think we can kind of get started. So let's get our little nail stand. We will put our thumb on and we do want our mini lamp like available. All right, so I think the first thing we're going to do is put some primer on. This is just going to make sure everything stays. And what is this red thing in here? Everything's supposed to be green. There's like a red glitter. Get out! Now that that is on, I do want to put some base coat in here. Uh, because this gold foil always makes a mess, I want to try to pull it out and put some on like a palette. And then we can kind of split it up and make it pretty. Don't breathe too hard or it's gonna throw everything away. This is challenging. I think if I hold it, ah uh, yeah, here we go. I just want like small pieces that I can kind of strategically place. I feel like I'm doing like surgery. Okay, let's place these in here. And I kind of want to like create some uniformity to like the gold design. Hey, I'm liking that. We are gonna flash cure it in my lamp. So I have this really awesome green that I think is gonna be perfect. Definitely want some white in there. We'll stick in some of this because this is such a cool color. This is pretty much all we'll use for this one because I don't want to fill in the nail too much. So I'm going to try to really just smooth things down as much as I can. I don't want to mix it too much, but I think I'm going to like take a toothpick or something and like smush it around. Or I might not even have to mix it around. Like this is doing it pretty good. I don't know why the McCart white is so like goopier than all the other poly gels. Uh, it fell off the stand. And I'm not wearing gloves. I'm actually out of gloves. Okay, let's try to get this on. I've been watching Rick and Morty as opposed to my usual adventure time. And it is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Now we can kind of clean up that excess. Let's start with our primer and base coat. All right, I still have some gold pieces left over. We got that down. I want to flash cure that. Similarly, we'll do a lot of this kind of like jelly green. And I love, love this color. Love these brushes because like they're so flat. Like you can really kind of like get that C curve in there. Really great for poly gel. If you don't know, I got these from Beatles. Love their products. I think it was on Amazon. This one stayed on, thank God. I was like trying to be gentle with it. I'm 
try to take off this excess. I don't know why that just did that like that, but ah! Okay, too much. My hand like slipped from the alcohol and it just like flung poly gel into my face. We're gonna need to chop up some more gold foil. Okay, I chopped up a lot. This is why we're like trying to prepare it cause I didn't know how much was in there. And I need to not blow it everywhere. Let's maybe try this one a little different, like a big chunk of gold. May have forgotten to film some of that. So sorry. But we kind of just put it in randomly and per usual, we're gonna smooth it out. So we can take this off. We're kind of just repeating the process here and I'll try to film the whole nail this time. I'm just trying to mix it up and keep the nails a little different from each other. we will get our last nail on. I want this one to be like white on the top and white on the bottom. Ooh, I almost forgot to do gold foil for this, so. Okay, so they're on. So far, so good. I do need to clean them up a little bit. So let's do some filing and shaping. Okay, this is so far looking really good. I saw a post by Votino, which I, they are so talented. Their nails are insane. But they were doing something kind of similar and they put a layer of like jelly green polish over like everything and it just made it look so pretty. So let me grab a palette because this can get pretty dark pretty quickly and I still want, you know, to see all the details. I'm going back and forth on shiny or matte. I think we'll do shiny.
All right, and here is the finished look. These look like candy. I'm really happy with how these turned out. Oh my God. They're like almost like neon, but not quite. They're like just really bright, but I'm just, I'm obsessed. <laughs> All right, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. These are so bright and fun. They like straight up look like Jade. I'm like really happy with how these turned out. But if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.